Hey, Dad. Have you got a second? Oh, hi, Susie. I always have time for my favorite daughter. Aww. Aww. She'll be fine. You were saying? Well, Mark and I have been co-developing my app for a while now. You and Mark have been spending an awful lot of time together. <laughs> Well, yesterday he suggested we add the core plot library to my app, and I'm just, I'm not sure we're ready for that yet. Well, good for you. Don't let any boys pressure you into incorporating frameworks you're not ready for, no matter how long you've been co-developing. <laughs> yes, sir. I just, I wish that there was some way to try a library before installing it. Why, as a matter of fact, there is. Have you heard about PodTry? PodTry? What's that? PodTry is a low commitment way of trying out any demo project associated with a CocoaPod. Just imagine. If you run PodTry on a third-party library, CocoaPods will go out to that library set of project files, usually on GitHub, but not always, and download them to a temporary directory on your computer. Once there, it will scan them for anything that looks like an Xcode project or workspace, preferably in a directory named something like demo or example. Now, if it finds one, PodTry will open that project in Xcode so you can see how it works. Oh, so I could use that to try out CorePlot without adding it to my app first? You betcha. In fact, let's give PodTry a try right <laughs> now. <laughs> Bring on over that mechanized workstation. So we know the name for a CocoaPod is Core Plot. Yep, and I remember the search trick that you showed Robbie. Ah, uh, atta girl. So all you need to do is type pod try core plot. Oh, but wait, I'm not in my Xcode project or anything. Does it matter which directory I'm in? Nope. CocoaPods will put this in a temporary directory, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and type pod try core plot. That's right. Now you can see that CocoaPods is downloading the GitHub directory and looking for any Xcode projects it finds. Mm -hmm. If it finds more than one, it might ask you which one to open, but it looks like in our case it only found one. Mm -hmm. And a few moments later, Xcode starts up with our sample app ready to go. You can go ahead and run it, make changes, and fool around with the code just like any other project. Golly, that's swell. So PodTry will work with all libraries? Well, not all. Some developers, they don't know about PodTry, and their sample apps haven't been tested to see if they work. I've noticed sometimes I need to go into these temporary directories and manually run pod update to get everything working. <laughs> Some developers, they'll update their library and then they'll forget to update the sample app that goes along with them. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, and some libraries, like the Google Sign-In library, will require you to replace a couple of constants to get everything working. Oh, but does that mean I can run PodTry on any of the official Google CocoaPods and it will open a sample app? Yep. Now that Google is making CocoaPods its primary way of distributing libraries on iOS, they're bundling all of their sample applications in the same Git repository as the library themselves, so it's easy to PodTry them. They're also making these sample apps part of their continuous integration test process, so you'll be pretty confident that they will compile. I wish I could say the same about Mark's code. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh. oh, hey, Susie. Uh, so, uh, how'd that Xcode project work out for you? Well, thanks to PodTry, I was able to try out CorePlot, but Mark and I decided it wasn't quite right for us right now. Well, you know, that's understandable. Integrating a third-party library is a serious step in your developer relationship and not one you should take lightly. That's true. Oh, and it reminds me, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.